Good morning. Today, our Proverbs lesson, we are looking at chapter 10, verse 12, one sent in uh, by one of our friends today. Hatred stirs up dissension, but love covers over all wrongs. It's a, a very appropriate verse for, for the current situation, isn't it? And I'm sure it's, it's something that we've all seen and you know, perhaps we've all even taken part of. Hatred causes dissension. It's very natural. It's very natural to feel that anybody that has a different opinion, anybody that's on the other team, it's very natural to feel then that that person is the enemy. But that's not really true, is it? You know, while there may be differing goals and differing outcomes that we're both looking for, that doesn't make us enemies per se. And in truth, that person is just as much my neighbor as any other person. And God has called me, God has called you to show love to my neighbor. Now I think, I always look to Jesus, right? He's, he's the best example, best example as a teacher, as a, as a person, as a human. And I think of Jesus as he was making his way to the cross. Think of all the hate. Think of all the hate that was being shown to him. As he was mocked, they put the purple robe on him, crown of thorns on him, hate spewing his way. Hate as the crowd yells, crucify him, crucify him. Hatred as the soldiers mocked him, putting him up on the cross. Oh, why don't you save others? Save yourself. Hatred after hatred after hatred. And how did Jesus respond? Just with love, right? That he didn't have to go through that. If he didn't want to, he had the power to stop it. But it was his love that drove him to continue on. It was his love for those very people who were mocking him. Love for them that he could forgive them and bring them forgiveness and, and a relationship with God. And that's the love that he showed to us. Love covers over all wrongs. Forgiveness, right? Love covers over all wrongs. Jesus' forgiveness, right? It has covered up all those times that I have allowed hate to come into my heart. Showing hate to my neighbor rather than showing love. It's that love from Jesus that covers that up and allows me to be still God's child. And so today I encourage you to follow Jesus' example. And as hate comes into the world, rather than spewing hate back, causing dissension, show love. Because when we show love, we show Jesus, and that's what God has called us to do. God has called us to, to live lives that show people Jesus. It's a tall order, right? But that's what we are to do. We are to show love. And so I encourage you, before saying something back, before posting something online, before responding to something online, you know, think, consider, does this show love to my neighbor? Because I'm called to show love so that I can show Jesus. Let's pray and ask God to help us do that today. Dear Lord, we thank you for your a great, amazing love that has covered up all of the wrong, all the times that we have failed to love you. We thank you for this great forgiveness and the relationship that, that allows us to have with you. And now today we ask that you strengthen us. We ask that you give us the same strength and trust to not spew hatred in, into this world, 
that causes continued dissension. But Lord, allow us to have the strength to show love, to show love for all people, to show love for our neighbor, this day and always. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.